I am going to show you really quickly how you can sync your grades from Canvas into PowerSchool. That's called Grade Pass Back. So you'll go to your Canvas course that you want to sync. You'll click on Settings. When you do that, at the top of your screen, you need to choose Feature Previews. When you scroll down then, you'll look for Post Grades to SIS, and you'll change that to Green, Enable. All right, next step is that you need to go to assignments. And we need to pull in the categories that you have in PowerSchool. So if you have not set your PowerSchool categories yet, then you have to stop where you are, create those, and then come back and do these next steps. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'll go to my three dots over here in my upper right hand corner next to plus assignment also called a kebab. I'll click on that and I will import assignment groups. Notice this little arrow with the page. That's important. So I'll say to import. It says that it's scheduled. It does take a little bit of time, sometimes a few minutes, sometimes a little bit longer than that. Probably depends on how much uh, taxing has hap is happening in Canvas or PowerSchool at the time. So you'll see these two categories that this teacher has. They do not have that little symbol here. These are just the categories that the teacher has created in their Canvas course. I'm going to refresh this page. My skills to custodian. And we'll wait for the spinning wheel. Ah, so now we see two categories that have been added that have that same symbol. So when you see these symbols with the paper and the arrow going into it, that's saying that this, these two categories are talking to PowerSchool. Any assignment, assessment, anything that is in these two categories now will automatically sync as long as you choose for it to with PowerSchool. So what happens when I have all of these assignments I've already created and I want them to talk? Very simply, I'm just going to move them. So you can see this teacher here has a lot of assignments that have been previously created. I could choose to move all of those at one time. So I can click on the kebab, I can say move contents, and I can choose that I want them to go to the assessment or the classwork and then say move. Or if I just want to do one at a time, then let me show you one here. Okay, here's one that's been published, lettered future self. I'm going to go ahead, I can just move them one at a time. So I'm going to click on the kebab for the assignment. I'm going to move to, I'm going to choose the second homework classwork because that's the one that's the category that talks to PowerSchool and then say move. So now you'll see, if I scroll down, actually, let me minimize. That now lives in the world that's going to talk to PowerSchool. You'll see here, this X means that it's not syncing. So in order to sync it to PowerSchool, I can either do that here or by clicking, just click on that and it will turn to green, or I can do that while I'm editing the assignment. So when I'm creating the assignment, I can choose to include this assignment's grades when syncing to, uh, the, to school's SIS or to our power school. And then I would say save. There are a couple tricks that you need to be aware of. Um, once you have finished grading, um, you're probably going to have some students that haven't turned it in, right? So if that's the case, you'll want to update in Canvas, because anytime your grades post to SIS, if you would update it in PowerSchool instead, then it's going to override, Canvas will override PowerSchool anytime it syncs. However, what most teachers do so that they can go into uh, PowerSchool and put the codes in that they want to, once they've done like their initial push of grading, they will turn the sync off so that they um, don't have to worry about that override. So my suggestion would be do your big push of grading. Once you've done your push of grading, then you're going to click on this to turn it black so that that sync is disabled. And then any of the updates that you can make that you'd like to make, you can make directly in PowerSchool. If you have any questions, please make sure you reach out. Have a great day. Bye bye.